Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 8 October 2021. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior online writer Marlene Alnaldi discovers how a hydroelectric project is set to boost the green credentials of a giant DRC-based copper complex. While Kamoa Copper in the Democratic Republic of Congo is on track to become the second largest copper mining complex globally, it's also poised to be among the greenest of copper mines since it's completely powered by hydroelectricity. The engineering news features focus on pumps, where pump systems are optimized through energy saving assessments. Manufacturing, where load shedding hinders holistic growth and harbour and offshore services, where there's potential growth for the South African shipping sector. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in West Africa, where cooperation is crucial to West African development. And motors, drives and mechanical power transmission, where innovation brings benefits but also poses challenges. This week's business leader is Murray Crow, MD of Electrolux South Africa. And as this week's cartoon shows, South Africa's exports could face seemingly unfair treatment as the EU prepares to implement tariffs on carbon-heavy products. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time.